Good evening, everybody. Welcome to the class number eight. We're going to start, uh, but first let's check the audio. Vamos a revisar el audio. If everything is in order, so we can start. Maybe we're going to have a brief trial. Vamos a hacer un intento. Flor, good evening. I don't know if you are connected now. Si estás por ahí, Flor, me dices si me puedes escuchar. Hola, teacher. Hello, good, good evening. evening. Everything okay? Se escucha bien, teacher. Creo que yo tengo mal el internet. Es que en teoría como que viene una tormenta. Me comentaban, pero bueno. Thank you, Flor. Gracias por confirmar el audio. Porque se había entrecortado, pero sí. Okay. Vaya, vamos a revisar. Gracias, Flor. Good evening, teacher. Can you hear me well? Yeah, right. Okay, that's perfect. Good to me. So, how was, was your day? Ah, no, yo empecé primero, yo me gusté primero. Sorry, what? I'm... How was your weekend? It uh, passed really fast. Uh, I just rested on Saturday. I had to work yesterday. So, I'm kind of tired. Well, a little bit tired. I want to relax, uh, so I'm waiting for this coming weekend so I can have more time for relaxing. Okay. But, well, what about you? Uh, my situation is, is opposite. Oh, okay, I, you have I a, work a, on Saturdays. a rest. Yeah, but I rest in the Sunday. Perfect. Yeah, you look like very calm. Even today is Monday, and Mondays are commonly not so good. But you look like in peace with yourself. Yeah, maybe because uh, I eat some candies. Okay, candies are always Work energetic. Life. Those are like energizers. Okay, thank you, Carly. Nice, nice to see you again. Fernando, good evening. How are you doing? Good evening, teacher. Hello, so, how was your weekend? Everything okay? In order? Did you go out? Uh, my weekend was amazing and interesting. Perfect. Did you went to a specific place or did you just, just spend time at home with family, friends? Yes, I went to the La Chapultepec La Libertad with my co-workers and I celebrate the birthday of my co-worker. Yeah, oh, I, dance. I dance a lot. I sound uh, my favorite catchy song of the La Selena Gomez. <laughs> okay, nice. Really yeah. good. So you are now like very relaxed. You have a very nice weekend. And did you went out at night? I, I guess, right? Or during the day? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's perfect. And today nice. it was my short day. Okay, so Enjoy. well. Well, I, as I always say, take advantage of your time, your free time, go out, hang out with friends. Okay, do the best. Yeah. Okay, perfect, Fernando. Thank you. Thank you for sharing your weekend adventures. So welcome to the others, Fatima, Kevin, Odalis, Juan, Elia. I can see that we have a lot of participants connected. That's really good. Janet, Cesar, I guess some of you are moving. 
Let's check some messages. I'm sorry, just give me a second. Okay, Fatima, thank you. Thanks for informing, Fatima. I'm glad to tell you that today is class number eight. It means we have 12 classes left. Really nice. Just uh, 12 more classes and tonight. And this is the class number eight. So um, we're going to study simple past statements. And this, well, this is really necessary because uh, there are some exercises on the platform that you have to complete. And uh, obviously you already know how to use simple past statements, but uh, review, it is not like a bad idea. So que el, el pasado simple puede ser un poquito complejo, but uh, we're going to have some exercises just to remind you and to have like a feedback. Let's see. Um, the first vocabulary that we're going to have is this, but, Either, neither. These are uh, three phrases that we're going to use. Both, both, either, neither. Okay. So um, the first uh, word, both, it means the next. Like the two alternatives. Es para mencionar dos alternativas. I want both pizzas. Okay. Or you can say some, if a person tells you, what do you prefer, tea or coffee? You can say, I want, sorry, I don't know what is going on with this. Okay. I want both tea and coffee. Okay, so I want both tea and coffee. What, what is your favorite color, uh, red or blue? You can say both, ambos, or you can say my favorite color are both red and blue, okay? So both is to say that, es como decir ambos, okay? Both. Then here we have either. Uh, either uh, it says one of two alternatives, solo una de dos alternativas. For example, you can have either shirt or let's say another example. Um, I want either, I'm sorry. You can say, I want either candies or cakes. También se puede mencionar como, mm, yo quiero ya sea dulces o pasteles, okay? I want either candies or cake. Eh, por ejemplo, te puedes decir, what do you want for lunch? Uh, what do you want for dinner? ¿Qué quieres cenar? I want either Chinese food or hamburgers. What do you want for dinner? Oh, what do you want for breakfast tomorrow? I want either cereal or pancakes. Hmm. Es como puede decir ah, lo que sea también, ¿verdad? Pero te dan dos alternativas, okay? And neither, it means none of the alternatives. Ninguna de las alternativas. So, neither shirt will fit you. Ninguna camisa te va a quedar. Pero podemos poner este otro ejemplo. Este es con negativas también. Neither coffee nor tea. I don't want neither coffee nor tea. 
¿ok? No quiero ni café ni té. I want tequila, for example. So those are those are like examples uh, how you can use both, either, neither. Both significa ambos, either, ya sea, o, and neither, ni, tampoco. Okay, so in this case, both, uh, you can have two alternatives, puede tener dos alternativas, como que cualquiera de las dos cosas, either, solo una, neither, ninguna. Okay, so prepare a sentence, preparen una oración. Uh, so you can have, you can use both, que es fácil, o también pueden decir, I like. Pueden usar, si tienen dificultad, teacher, I'm not getting your idea. Pueden decir both, por ejemplo, I like both cats and dogs. Ok, me gustan ambos, eh, gatos o los perros. O pueden utilizar el verbo like aquí con both. Uh -huh. Either también, uh -huh. I like. Uh -huh. Y aquí en neither sería I don't like. This is definitely... Eh, mainly used for negative sentences. En este caso, eh, aquí pues dice neither shirt would kill you. Ninguna camisa te va a quedar, but anyway, we have different kind of uses in this case, these phrases, okay? So to start, uh, let me call you just, I will give you one minute to prepare your sentence in case you have doubts. Okay, um, let's check some of you. I know uh, some of you are moving, algunos van de camino. So, uh, let's start with Brenda. I don't know if Brenda is connected. Are you there, Brenda? Okay, let's uh, listen to Cesar. I don't know if Cesar is there. Hi, teacher. Hello, Cesar. Uh, are you ready with your sentence? Uh, <clears throat> yes, I want both Coca Zero or N Coke Classic. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, Douglas. Um, I want I want either um, water or soda. Perfect. Thank you. Very nice examples. Elia. Are you there, Elia? Hello. Hello there. Uh, Are you yeah. ready with your sentence? Um, I went um, both this period um right okay thank you fatima is moving oh, no fatima tiene problemas con la internet me escucha fatima i guess no well uh, fernando i yeah, guess you're of course. Okay, yeah okay friend uh, i love soccer and tennis both is a good sport from my okay. point of view Okay, yes, both are good sports. Yeah, perfect. Very nice. Flor, is your turn. Uh, I want both sandwich and donut. Okay, yes, donut. Uh, Gisela. Hello, teacher. Hello there. Uh, I want both hamburgers and sushi. Okay, nice. Um, there are certain type of people who like sushi. In my case, I don't like it, but people say it is delicious, right? So I guess you'll like a lot, Gisela. Nice, maybe. 
I have to try. Yes, I tengo que probar de otro tipo. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Okay. Yeah. Maybe I have to learn. Thank you. Eh, Mauricio moving. Juancito. Johnny. Be good. Hello, Hello teacher. Juan. Hello, Juan. Good evening. Good evening. Te ves tan tranquilo. You look so quiet. So very mm. innocent. <laughs> ¿Qué te han hecho? Nothing, nothing. Te has regañado. I guess you had problems on the weekend. No, okay. no, no. Relax. Hey, what about your sentence? I like but chicken and Mexican tacos. Oh, definitely. Or I like eating chicken or Mexican tacos. Okay, that's nice. Yes, tacos are so... I don't like neither, neither or neither. Neither. Se puede, uh, 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 neither. Chicken nor tea. Okay. Okay. Uh, very strange combination, but eh, sí. ya que Juancito dijo esto, either se puede pronunciar como either uh, from the British uh, pronunciation. There are some people who, who say yeah, either or either. Igual que aquí, neither or neither. I have oh, heard okay. that. Even British say uh, either. Porque no pronuncian la R, ¿verdad? Los británicos son neither. Yes. Okay. But as we are learning American English, we say either or either. In this case, neither or neither. Personally, I like either and neither. But if you want to say either, neither, no problem. That's okay. Thank okay. you, Juancito. Con sus combinaciones. No, Let's welcome. listen to Julissa. Are you there, Julissa? Okay. Okay, Fatima, si te mencioné. Julissa. Okay. Fatima también. Ok. Uh, let's listen to. Te anota aquí, Julissa. Pero bueno, ya vamos a ver. Carly. Present teacher. Carly Gare. Ok. What's your sentence? I would like both. Soda while you hit the water for coffee. Ok. You have. You, you were really ready. Ok. A question for you, Carly. Do you like your hair? Yeah, I love it. Perfect. There, well, there was a point in your life in which you didn't like it because curly girls uh, usually have that type of uh, yeah, issue. It happens. Okay. Some, sometimes. Una vez fue cuando me enredé un peinecito de esos delgaditos, dice, mm -hmm. para hacerme el cepillo cuando estaba chiquita. Y okay. fue imposible desenredarlo. Me cortaron el pelo. Really? <laughs> yeah. Oh, so really, that level. Another okay. example was when eh, probé una nueva peluquera, una nueva muchacha del salón, y me lo cortó hasta aquí. Y todo iba bien hasta que se secó y parecía Dora. Ah, Dora yes, Dora, because así. it like retracts, se retrae, <laughs> así, because <laughs> of the curly, yes. So you were like Cristobal Columbus in this case, yes. <laughs> yeah. Okay, no, so, no. well, actually, uh, it is like delicate, curly hair mm -hmm. and wavy hair, mainly curly, so, okay. Thank you, Carly, for your anecdotes. Mm -hmm. And Laura. Bueno. Uh, I like both colors green and brown. Okay, thank you. Very nice. Marvin, what about you? I can eat meat or vegetable. I really like both. Mm, nice, wonderful. Uh, me, Janet. Present teacher. I uh, want mixed meal and coffee. Good one. Odalis. No, Odalis. Okay. Um, Hello, teacher. Hello, Odalis. 
Are you ready with your sentence? I want both milk and coffee. Okay, thank you. Good one. Oscar. Okay, if we don't have Oscar, maybe we have Rosa. Rosita. Okay, so what about Liliana? No. Okay. What about Mario? Hello, teacher. Hello, Mario. I like both Apple and Android system. Okay, very nice. But do you have a favorite, right, Mario? Yes, teacher. Which one? <laughs> Apple, Apple system. Okay, yeah. 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 It's very fast. No, okay. Fast. No. Good one. Because yeah, eh, there is always a like a difference between those types of systems. But yes, eh, people well, I've heard some eh, opinions. People say that Apple is like, yeah, like very nice. Is like has more fidelity and más fiel, más fiable, and all those types. Even the security, right? Yes, teacher. It's very. <laughs> Maybe Por because... ever Android. <laughs> okay, yeah, for those. But in this case, in maybe Apple, it is like personalized, right, Mario? Yes, teacher. Um, if you have a Apple life. You have anything in in one in, in una sola cosa. Si, si tú tienes All in one. Tu, uh, ajá, si tú tienes todas tus cosas en el sistema Apple, tienes todo en un solo lugar. Mm, very ordered, right? Yes. And the security, the level of security is really good, right? Mm -hmm. If you forget the password, you have problems. Okay, well. I'm going to, we're going to check. Thank you, uh, Mario. Noé. And... Otra, perdón, otra de las cosas que dicen que Apple is status. Oh, maybe. Could it be? Yes. What about you, Juan? You prefer Android? Like Carly? Or... Okay. Uh... Okay, full Apple says. Okay, Juan, ahí está Apple. Sorry. Sorry, Android. Sorry, not sorry. Okay, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Juan. Okay, what about Noé? Maybe we don't have Noé, but uh, Adriana? Yes, hello. Oh, Good hello there. Good evening. I like both uh, strawberry and watermelon. Nice, strawberry and watermelon. Thank you. So as you can see, it's kind of easy. These uh, phrases. Thank you very much, my friends. And do you remember that we were studying, we were studying uh, verbs, irregular verbs in simple past. So in this case, we're going, we're going to have like a worksheet, but it is a crossword. Es un crucigramas. So, I know maybe some of you like crosswords. Let me show you this. I don't know if you can see it fully. Si lo pueden ver completo, I guess yes, right? El último número es el 26. Juan, can you see it completely? Pueden verlo completamente. Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. So you remember that um, I sent you on the WhatsApp group a list of verbs, one hundred one irregular verbs. So in that uh, sheet, you could find um you can find different types of verbs, irregular verbs. So we're going to complete this. Can you see here we have a cross 
that a cross is in this way, like this, that's a cross. And here we have down, down is over here, right? So you tell me the number and you tell me the, the verb, okay? The way it is written, la manera como se escribe, okay? And obviously the way you, you pronounce it. So in this case, eh, we're going to start with some of you, or maybe do we have volunteers? If we have volunteers, better. Okay, Juancito, the, the apple man, okay? <laughs> no. Okay, which one? Okay. Um, across war 27. 27. R. R. Sería. Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. What is the past of R? Wow. Um, mm -hmm. Finding. Finding. La número okay. uno. Ya vamos, Odalis. Solo que Juancito ahorita está analizando todas las acciones malas que ha hecho este año. Ahorita. Sí, la conciencia. La, la conciencia le está invadiendo. Hey, Juancito, I'm going to give you time. Eh, Odalis, do you say number one? Please. Relax, Juancito. Es el break. Sería el number one eh, down. No. Okay, okay, I'm, so, I'm sorry. Yes, eh, you said number one. Break, uh -huh, number one. down mm -hmm. what is number one how you pronounce it break uh-huh but the past number six no odalis pero como como cuál es la 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 número uno the break oh mm -hmm. the break mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. sí pero tienes que decirla en pasado Porque break, oh. ¿no? break es presente, ajá. Do you have an idea? Okay, no. okay, it's broke, okay. And let's listen to Carly and then Juan, okay, Carly. And number Mario. 12, down. Okay, number 12, down. Road. Right? Mm -hmm. Road. Road, perfect. Okay, we go with Juan and then we go with Mario. Uh, teacher, 27 no está, es 26 porque pasa de la 25 a la 26, a la 27, perdón, y sigue 28. Okay, so it is not 27, yeah. it's 20, 27 what? R. R, uh -huh. uh, está al final del lado inferior del lado izquierdo. Ajá, eh, 27. Yes, is this across, right? R? No, no, no. Which one? Entonces, ¿cuál es? What es... number? De hecho, no, no, no está. No, Juancito, pero tienes que tomar una de estas. Ajá. Sí, yo sé, pero no, no está el número 27. Aquí es el 27 acá y aquí está el 27 Ajá. acá. Ah, es que es en el pasado que lo necesita, ¿no? En el... Yes, es the past. Ok. One moment, please. <ríe> no problem. Ok, I'm going to give you time. Relax. Eh, Mario. Hello, in the yes. number 19, down. Okay, number 19, down. Last. Last, okay, good. Thank you. 
And who else? Carly, you want another? Queremos otro. And then we go with Gisela. No, teacher. I'm okay, okay, relax. Okay, no problem. Gisela and then Adriana. Gisela, are you ready? Teacher, no veo la pantalla. <laughs> really? Sí, estoy viendo en negro, entonces ahorita estoy intentando mejor conectarme desde la computadora y no desde el teléfono. Ok. Ok. Please. Ok, Adriana. Ok. If Adriana is not ready, let's listen to Janet. And then Marvin. Janet, any idea? No. Okay, Marvin. Go when? Well, what number is it? Number Let three me... downward. Okay, number three downward. Go mm -hmm. when? Thank you. That is really easy. Thank you. Okay, Laura, are you there? And then Fernando. Okay, we don't have Laura. Fernando, are you there? And then, Sarah, yeah. please. Okay, the number four is forget, okay. forgot. Perfect, across. Forgot. Hi, teacher. Hello, mm -hmm. what number? Um, green. What number? Hmm? Um, well, the... 13, I guess, across. Siempre uh, down, ¿verdad? Ajá. Drink. Uh -huh. Hola. Ok, drink. Sí, eh, 13 sería drink y en pasado drunk. Oh, drunk. Sea. Ok, drunk. drunk. Con A, drunk. drunk. Thank you. Very nice. Eh, César, and then we go with Flor. Es number 21, come. And pass is king. Okay, come and here we have came. Thank you. Okay, Flor and then Elia. Pueden revisar la lista eh, de, de, de verbos que les he dado. Sería. Espérame, teacher, que es algo difícil. No problem. De hecho, yo he estado usando eso, teacher, y, y de R no encontré en, en los que... Mm, es que yo quiero ver cómo no, en un anterior. He eh, buscado en las anteriores. Eh, es que se las presenté, creo, pero no se las envié. Uh -huh. El pasado de R es where. Where. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. Where. Ya lo vamos a ver más tarde. Ok. Ok, Juancito, búscate Listo. otro. Búscate otro. Ah, ok. Ok, who's next? Estamos eh, con. Eh, teacher, eh, number 28 across oh. 12. Drove. Uh, yes, drive and the pass oh. is drove. Ok, 28. I guess, yeah, this is 28. Thank you. Okay, Janet, necesito que veas el listado y me digas uno también. Okay, if we finish with this. Gisela, también necesito que me diga uno. Okay. Let's listen again to Carly. Yeah, I can participate. Please, and then Juan. Hmm, let me see. Make uh, the fifteen. Number, across. please. Yeah, always say the number. I'm sorry. Ah, uh, fifteen. Yes, across. Uh huh. Uh, made. Okay, thank you. Made. Juan, and then Marvin. Down work. Okay. Eight. Hold. Hold. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Sería help. Perfect. Harold. That's it. 
Thank you. Okay, Marvin hey. and then Gisela. Okay, Marvin, are you there? Okay, uh, Gisela. And then Janet. Draw. And number 17. Uh, 17, yes. Okay. Draw. Okay, draw. Mm -hmm. Draw. Okay. Draw. Okay, Drew. Serian Drew. Okay. Oh, Drew. okay. Thank you okay. very much. Let's listen to um Mario. Okay, Janet. Lisa, okay. Mario and Janet. Okay, teacher. Um number eleven a crossword. Mm -hmm. Stand. Stand. Stand two? No. No. I can say stood. Stood. Mm -hmm. Okay. Bien, bien, extrañosa. Ok, thank you, eh, Janet. ¿Ya revisaste alguno? No. Ok, revisa los listados que yo envié. Ahí podrías encontrar en WhatsApp. Ok, eh, Marvin. Ok, Julissa. Ok, teacher. Oh. Uh, okay, you listen to Marvin. Okay. Downwards number five. Number five. Take seria two. Thank you. Yes, it is. It's two. Now, Marvin, please. Downwards number eighteen. Wait. Right. Number eighteen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. No. Okay, road. Thank you. Gisela, you have another? Uh, 23. Cut. 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 Thank you. Okay, we're about to finish. Ya no faltan poquitos. Let's see who else. Kevin. Well, Kevin is not ready, I guess. What about? Teacher, yes, Juan. 25. Let's go with 25. Yes. Fly. Flu. Flu. Yes. Flu. Flu. Thank you. Teacher. Yes. A ver si me funciona. Eh, number, number nine, ten. Number eh, nine, a, ten. Across seven. Eh, no, 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 no. Eh, Send is nine. Fourteen. Okay. Um, Fourteen. Do. See. Okay. Yes. Do. Do. Set. Send. Set. ¿Cuál es el cruzado de do? Ah, cent. No, no, yes. Send. Set. Send. Send. Uh -huh. El pasado de do es did. Ajá. Uh -huh. Thank you. Thank you. So we have one, two, teacher, three. Yes, uh, Julissa. Downwards number 11. Swim. Swim. Is swim. swim. Mm -hmm. That's it. Really good. Thank you. Okay, we have. Mm -hmm. Well, breathe, breathe. Uh, what number across the world? Twelve. Uh, red. Uh -huh. Green. Aquí sería red. Aunque se escribe igual, bien extraño ese verbo. Red en presente en pasado es red. Bien tricky. But thank you. Thank Did you chair? for mentioning. Yes. Across, across world number six. No. 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 Is no. Is new. Okay, it's new. Thank you. Like this, new. Thank you. Okay, we have just one, two, three, four, five. Cinco no falta. Teacher, number, number, number seven. Ten. Oh, okay, Douglas, right? 
Douglas number seven. Uh, down words, uh, number 10. Ah, so, okay. Number 10? Mm -hmm. It's found. Perfect, found. Yes. You? Cesar, do you have another? Uh, yes. Number yes. Inches. I'm sorry. Choose. Choose. Okay. Seven. Yes. Uh huh. Seven. Yes. Choose and then chose. Bien extraño también ese verbo. Thank you. Then here we have spend. Fácil. Porque es spent con T, right? And tenemos 20 steal, que es stole. Okay. Here we have 20. And the last one here, que es her, y el pasado de is, que es was, que lo vamos a ver. Okay, thank you for all your help. And uh, we need to advance with this class. And let's check this. Let's see here. What do we get? Okay, ya que tenemos el presente versus el pasado, es sencillo. En este caso, here we have the present. And if you notice, tenemos acá la parte de arriba. You live in Spain, ¿verdad? Vives en España. La negativa es you don't live in Spain. And the question is, do you live in Spain? In the past, uh, in the affirmative, here we can find regular verbs. Aquí encontramos los verbos regulares, ed. Para el negativo, utilizamos didn't. En presente utilizamos don't. Didn't es el mismo auxiliar, solo que en pasado. Ok, can you see in the equation, en la pregunta, utilizamos do en presente. En pasado, utilizamos did. That's it. Eso es todo. Nuevamente, en afirmativo, la diferencia es que aquí lleva ed porque es un verbo regular. Si fuera irregular, podría ser diferente. Por ejemplo, cantar, sing, es en presente, en pasado es sang. Entonces aquí iría sang. Pero igual, aquí en negativo y en pregunta los verbos no se modifican. Lo que nos ayuda es el auxiliar didn't y el keep did. Ahora veamos el caso de las terceras personas. En el caso de las terceras personas tenemos la siguiente. He lives in Spain. Aquí está el dolor de cabeza de muchos, que es la tercera persona que le agregamos eso. In present, he doesn't live in Spain. Does he live in Spain? Aquí utilizamos el doesn't definitivamente para las terceras personas y el does para la pregunta. Ahora, en pasado, live, que sería igual, acá, la de arriba, luego didn't. Fácil. En presente utilizamos don't o utilizamos doesn't o utilizamos do o utilizamos does. En pasado, el mismo did. Y en pregunta, did. Conclusión. En presente, we, in present, we have difficulties sometimes with the third person. En presente tenemos dificultades con las terceras personas. En pasado, it doesn't exist. No existe eso. Okay, no problem with that. No tenemos que estar buscando a terceras personas, agregarle S, I, S. Mm -mm. Lo único que nos tenemos que, que fijar es en el, si es regular o irregular. Ok. Y el didn't para negativo, did para pregunta. Ok. The verb only changes in affirmative. Solo cambia en afirmativo. Ahora. Otra conclusión. Mm, veamos acá. Mira. Igual, igual, the same, the same. ¿Cuál es la única que cambiaría aquí el verbo? Es en afirmativo. Uh -huh. O sea, aquí en afirmativo tenemos que ver, solo ahí nos va a, a ser útil si es regular o irregular, porque va a ser con ed. O va a ser irregular, por ejemplo, en lugar de go, en pasado, aquí iría went. ¿Ok? 
teacher, but I am going to pass. Okay, we want to have some exercises in this case. Okay. I know you have some questions, pero lo vamos a ver con algunos ejemplos y creo que, que pues va a ser más práctico. But first, let's go with this. Vamos a ir con este. Conversation. Luis and Janet. Here we have, did you? Mm, es una pregunta, estamos utilizando did, right? Como lo estamos viendo en el anterior. Did you enjoy the seminar? Yes, I did. I learned a lot. Verbo regular. Tell me more. I updated my networking skills. I learned to move from small to smart talk. Great. So did you make new contacts? Yes, I did. I exchanged business cards with some people. Awesome. Así se dice. Awesome. No, awesome. No, awesome. No, awesome. Awesome. Okay. So, um, if you notice uh, in bolts, we, we can find either the auxiliary or the verb with ed. Estamos viendo los verbos con ed o los que son irregulares. Right? Bueno, principalmente los regulares. Okay. Did you enjoy the seminar? Yes, I did. I learned a lot. Tell me more. I updated my networking skills. I learned to move from small to smart talk. Small, como la serie Smallville. Y smart, como Price Smart o como Smart TV. Y esta se dice talk, como TikTok. No digan talk o talk. Talk. Okay. Great. So, did you make new contacts? Yes, I did. I exchanged exchange business cards with 10 people, awesome, okay? So, ¿disfrutaste del seminario? Sí, lo hice, aprendí mucho. Dime más, cuéntame más. Actualicé mis habilidades de socialización. Aprendí a moverme de charlas pequeñas a charlas más extensas o inteligentes, interesantes. Genial. Así que hiciste nuevos contactos, sí. Lo hice, intercambié tarjetas eh, de negocios con 10 personas. Eh, increíble, awesome. So, small, smart, talk. Exchange, business, awesome. Okay, I guess uh, you already know the rest of the world. So, we're going to have a short practice. Janira, okay, Janira. Um, so maybe we can have a screenshot. Can you help me, please, Juancito? Ya le envié, teacher. Thank you. Oh, wow. Yes, I can see it right now. Ya la vi. Thank you. We're going to have a short practice. So uh, just give me a second. Mientras le dan una pequeña revisada a... A eso, ok. Dar una revisada a la conversation. Mientras preparo los grupos. Okay, see in a moment.
Elia. We need you to accept the request, please. Thank you. Shown in here. Flor, can you hear me? Hola, teacher. Hello. Okay, who was your partner? Marvin. Okay, please, Flor and Marvin, can you help us? Okay. Okay. Did you enjoy the seminar? Yes, I did. I learned a lot. Tell me more. Okay, my networking is a learning to move forward from small to smart talk. Great. Uh, did you make any contact? Yes, I did exchange bus, bus, business. Business. business card with 10 people. Awesome. Thank you. Very nice, my friends. 
Now, what do we have here is next. Um, let's check this. Sé que está un poquito, aquí decimos use yes or no, didn't as your answer a question in the past, okay? Intentemos usar la lógica en este caso, okay? So let's uh, listen to Mario, que tiene un nuevo look. Okay, Mario, tell us from one to four, read the question and then the answer. Let's try to, to complete this exercise, please. The number one, teacher. Okay, please, can you read it? Did Luis go to the seminar? Mm -hmm. No, he didn't. Okay, thank you. Let's go with Carly. And then we go with Juan. Okay. Uh, did Janet update her network's networking skills? Yes, she did. Perfect. Okay, let's listen to Juan and then we go with Cesar. Yes, she did. What? ¿Qué es lo que hizo ahí? I don't know. The did, question? Did Janet learn to go from a small to a smart talk? Okay. Yes, she you did. You say yes, she did. Okay, thank you. And what okay. about Cesar? Thank you, Juan. Did Luis exchange business card with 10 people? No, yeah. he didn't. No, he didn't because it was Janet. Thank you, very nice. So something that we have not checked is this. Tell a paranormal experience, yours or a friend. Cuenten sobre historias de miedo suya o de un amigo, okay? So we're going to start this time with Maybe we can have who let's listen this time to Gisela and then Odalis. Gisela, are you ready? No, teacher. No, Odalis, are you ready? No, teacher. Okay, so what about Marvin? Ready? I try to tell about it. Thank you. Okay, in my case, I think that one of the strongest paranormal experience I had happened when I was 17 years old. Okay. One night, I was alone in the house and put on my headphones and I started to listen to music mm -hmm. in my room. Around 10 p.m., I was calm listening to music and I began to feel a, a brief change and dark presence. So, in a moment, uh, after a moment, I feel that a hand touched my foot. So, mm -hmm. my first reaction was to turn on the light in my room. But when I turned on the light, there was nothing. I was completely alone. So, I decided to turn on all the lights in the house and sat down to wait for my mom. Okay, so uh, just you felt somebody or a hand touch your feet, your foot, right? Yes. But didn't pull it, not the alarm, solo te tocaron los pies. Okay, Marvin. So, well, okay. I guess anybody who yes. would have shouted. Uh, how Freddy, Freddy. Freddy Krueger. Okay, Kruger. Or sometimes when you feel something, you are in silence like me static you can move or or you can shout well well thank you Marvin, Marvin. That one? Le, le, le jalaron las patas, como dice Marvin. okay thank you no it is como cuando te dicen que te van a jalar la cobija that is something that you if you think when you're alone at night in the darkness you can feel like well you can be afraid thank you okay Juancito what about you you have your any 
paranormal experience. Thank you, Marvin. And thank you. Yes, teacher. Uh, okay. Tell uh, paranormal experience, I don't have any such experience. No experience about it. No, no experience. Ok, thank you. Te Juancito, como que es chamán, no le pasa nada, dice. Ya está curado este hombre. Ok, Juancito. Okay. Desde que avienta culebras por allá es inmune. Eh, no, ¿no? pues ¿no? sí, es curandero este hombre. Pues salgo, Good. dice. <ríe> Good, Juancito. <ríe> casi, casi. Entonces tienes que dar la clave. Ok, thank you, Juancito. No eh, paranormal experience. Ok, Carly and then Mario. Okay. Um, when I was living with my boyfriend, uh, one night at my boyfriend's house, uh, we turned off the lights to go to sleep. And in our house, estamos solo nosotros dos. Okay. So uh, we uh, we was we were talking about about work. And I don't know if I was still half awake or already asleep, but something strange appeared in front of my face, literally. Yeah, but the darkness uh, helped, helped it. And uh, the darkness didn't allow me to see it properly. I shivered and screamed. My boyfriend checked, but he didn't find anything where. Days later at, at night, someone was uh, scratching the nails in the in the walls. Really? Yeah. Okay. Really? And y, y, y si yo iba a ver, no había nada. Solo se oía que pasaba así. Y eran láminas. No sé cómo se dice láminas en inglés. No tengo idea. Okay, okay. Carly, but before that night, uh, were there any other stories? in the, about that house or about that department or something like that no i don't know but imagine you are in the top of uh, a mountain uh, in nuevo Cuscatlan. there's no neighborhood yes uh, you're alone la, la, yeah. like away away from other um, separated from other houses around uh, where only animals uh, ducks uh, okay. chickens uh, and something that like that but uh, that sound was terrifying okay yes because you can happen in... some nights how many times did it happen maybe 10 or 12 times at night. A lot, a lot. Yeah. Okay. There yeah. were there uh, were several times. Yeah. Eh, lo relacioné con problemas de la familia de él, porque los los papás tenían problemas y solo estábamos nosotros dos. Pero ni modo. Entonces, eh, stopped passing until some shepherds say the prayer there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that that is really common. That yeah. helps. Okay, thank you, Carly. Quizá era la descarnada que estaba atrás de tu novio. Horrible. But, yes, I can imagine that and you can feel really... Oh, yeah. Medio paranormal asocia. Vaya, Marvin, ya sabe qué pasó. Yeah, you can be frightened. <laughs> Puede estar asustado, muy asustado. Definitely. Yeah. Why not? Y cualquiera, maybe anybody would be awake all night long. Okay, ya. Yeah. Bueno. Yo dije, no, yo allá no regreso, pero no había opción. <risas> bueno, que... Sí, yo creo que ahí había algo. La... Ok, vamos a escuchar ahora. Mira, hay una mano atrás de vos. Ok. Yes. There is... <risas> ok, Carly, thank you. Let's listen now to Mario. Ya, ya aruñaron las... La, la... Ahí las láminas de Carly le, le jalaron las patas, como dicen. Las no voy a poder Marvel. dormir hoy. <risas> Ahí vamos con Mario. ¿Qué te hicieron, Mario? A mí nada, dicho. Eh, ¿Te mordieron? My okay. girlfriend told, told me about Felipe Goss. Felipe Goss. Mm -hmm. Yes. 
um, she has a, she no. the the cousin of my girlfriend said uh, saw a, a ghost okay. and the ghost told him told her uh, my name is Felipe and mm -hmm. when when she when she told her parents hey I saw a ghost and his name is Felipe. Everybody is okay. Are you okay? Come on, come here. Go, go to sleep. I don't know. But that night, she had she. She had a dream, a nightmare. No, she. Como ella tiene una pecera, fish bowl. Ah, uh, fish bowl. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, fish bowl, and she has two fishes. Okay, two fish. Uh -huh. In in the morning at that night, the fishes are outside of the boat, and mm -hmm. that boat has a roof, and the fishes didn't um, didn't so jump out, jump out, mm -mm. Mm -hmm. and so Felipe goes is is around of there. Felipe <laughs> wanted some fish. Quería pescadito, Felipe. Okay. Todos. Algo loquillo, Felipe. Un cevichito quería, eh, de boca. Ven, yo no estoy así. Okay. 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 I am Felipe. My name is I have uh, Felipe can speak English. Okay. Hello, my name is Felipe. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Mario, for okay. telling Felipe's ghost. <laughs> Well, New teacher, Felipe's ghost. Okay, Felipe's ghost. <laughs> Thank you. Well, that, that it is kind of different. Thank you. And we're going to listen to some other. Who else? Maybe Abel. Are you ready with your with your story? Yes. Okay. My story is my paranormal experience was and and was um, in the school. Okay. But in, at the, when I saw a person transform into a monkey. Uh, I'm I'm sorry. I'm sorry. A person transforming into a monkey. Yes, okay. you saw it. You saw it. Yes, at night. Take away drugs. When a, a, a lot Nico. of people, a lot of people, and I look this. Okay, Jose está gozando ahorita. Okay, so <laughs> not only you, some other as well. So yeah. that the the police shot him at, and nothing happened. The yes. person shot it. And nothing yes, yeah, happens. Not, nothing happened. Okay. Mm -hmm. To him. He simply disappears. Disappear. He simply disappears. Disappear. 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 He, he's um very I, I think I, they were uh, witches. Okay. Yes, kind of like witchcraft or witches, something like that. Witchcraft is brujería. Creo que le querían hacer a yes. la pobre Carly, quizá. Ok. <risa> Esta niña, ¿de dónde es? Ni salco, quizá. Yo creo que... Es el mismo que fue ex... para Huizúcar. Una ex del <risa> novio de Carly. Para allá me lo mandó, ay, no. Ok. Eh, Abel, Iris. <risa> that, that, that is a, a, a very common story, Abel. That will transform into animals. Yes, yes I, I have heard. I, I, I didn't see anything in my life anything like that but I've heard people be sure gente asegurando but very serious all the people teacher yes the, the elder elder they say that right the lo, lo viejito, los ancianitos dicen they say yes I, I have noticed I have seen well maybe it is like common books of Juan Mico okay thank yes. you Abel very <laughs> interesting Oh. Thank you. Vaya, José, prepárate porque mucho ha gozado. Después vos, vos. 
<laughs> ok. Robo. Ok, and here we have, let's uh -huh. continue with this. Después hablamos de micos, de pezuñas, de, de whatever. Whatever. Okay. okay, so by now, here we have this. Ok. Um, a lady ah. appearance in my Oakland house. Okay. Oakland, no sé, mi tío. Uncle's okay. house. Uncle's house. Uncle's house. house. At night, um, she topped a parents uh, when they found mom uh, on the walls of the house. Um, for Monday, perdón, uh, encontraron dinero. Ah, uh, found money. Money, uh -huh. Uh -huh. on the wall of the house. Dejó de, de aparecer en la vivienda. Uh, era una señora. ¿no? Eh, ¿Cómo se dice, Wendy? Goblin. Yeah. Como Green Goblin, ¿me entiendes? Verde. Okay. No, nada. <laughs> uh, pero se, se aparecía, bueno, no era siempre, pero ella pasaba de, del cuarto de mi primo a la sala y se iba por la arada. <laughs> ok. But what about the money? Agarraste sí. algo de ese ahí. Ah, no, no. Eh, estaba ya como eh, deshecho, eran billetes. Ah, ah ya, comprarte mm. ahí un, un iPhone. Ok, so. <risa> y, sí, como yo y varias partes de las paredes que, que, que excavaron había dinero. Entonces, al final terminaron botando la casa. Yes, por lo I, mismo. Ok. Y vendieron, ¿verdad? <risa> Obviamente. So. Can you say it was a goblin? Puede decir que fue un duende o an spirit or, or mm, what? Dice que era el alma de la señora, pero no sé. Es que antes vivía una señora, una viejita y vivía sola. That's Entonces, another mm -hmm, people. Uh, well, there are some comments about ancients, algunos ancianos, when they live in, in some houses and they die, they pass away. There is like energy, like strange energy in some houses. That's why people say that there are some movements or objects, like cosas que se mueven, something like that. So that's why people demolate or destroy the houses. Okay. So thank you, Jose Mauricio. Talking about fake money, hablando de dinero falso. Creo que lavaba dinero. Money laundry. Thank you, Jose. We're going to continue later with this thing. Algunos van a tener pesadillas. Bueno, nightmares, maybe. Let's continue. Sí, han, han sacado varias, varias historias ustedes, bien creativos. Felipe's Ghost. Ok. Le, listen to this. Look at the words and bolts and complete the sentences below. If you notice, and we have these regular verbs. Aquí está, learned, updated. When they say updated, but like are updated, exchange, okay? And negative, didn't. Cuando utilizamos el negative, when we use negative, we don't modify the verbs. El verbo no se modifica. Sí, okay? And for negative, tampoco eh, vamos a modificar. We're not going to modify the verbs. We are just going to use did, okay? So the simple past describe past events. Describe eventos pasados, ok. Starting in the past and finishing in the past. Comenzaron en el pasado y terminaron en el pasado, ok. No como otros eh, tiempos que, que todavía comenzaron y continúan hasta ahora. So, positive sentences, eh, ¿verdad? ED normalmente. Eh, for negatives, utilizamos didn't. Ok, that's it. And vamos a ver, start just a question about the past. Igual manera, <coughs> utilizamos el did. El do lo utilizamos en presente, pero el did lo utilizamos en pasado. So here we have some sentences in here. And we're going to use did you, okay? Did you, did. Complete the question below, use the verb in parentheses. Interview two classmates, say us the answers. Okay, um, let's see. Let's try to create these uh, sentences. 
this question. The first one is, did you attend to a seminar last month? And what about if we complete this? Maybe we can have some help from Flor. Can you help me, Flor? We can use the same did you, okay? Okay, teacher. Okay, what number? Mm. Number one is number right. four. Number four. Number four. Did you did you sometimes? Uh, did you? El verbo entre paréntesis que está a la par que está acá. Did you learn? Mm -hmm. Sometimes. Something. Something. Porque sometimes es a veces. Yes, okay. did you learn something? Thank you, very nice. Uh, Janet, your turn. And then we go with Laura. Okay, Janet, uh, number two, three, five, or six. Five. Okay, let's go with number five. Did you, did you in the convention? Oh. Okay, did you, but what is the verb in parentheses? ¿Cuál es el verbo en paréntesis? Convention. Work, no. Y está en paréntesis. A la par está, es en paréntesis. Ok, thank you. What about if we have in this case uh, Laura or Adriana? Two. Two, please. No, and two. Yes. Did you enjoy the seminar? Okay, enjoy the seminar. Thank you very much. Thank you. And Adriana. Okay, if Adriana is not ready, what about Brenda? Yes, Brenda. Letter three. Letter three, okay. Did you meet new people? Perfect. Did you meet new people? Very nice. Okay. And what if we listen to, I don't know if Julissa is ready or Gisela. Gisela, can you help me with number six? Okay. Uh, did you exchange vision cards? Mm -hmm. Did you exchange business cards? Okay. Fácil hacer preguntas, okay? <laughs> Eh, todas estas preguntas, all of these questions are closed questions. Todas estas son preguntas cerradas. It means that the answers are going to be yes or no. Solo son preguntas de sí y no. Son preguntas cerradas, ¿ok? Eh, later, we're going to study the other type of questions. But by now, and eh, here we have this. And let me see. We have now... Let's go to the listening part. Vamos a la parte del listening. So just give me a second. I'm going to prepare this listening. Try to identify some words. Hello, Genos. Hi, can I book a table for tomorrow night, please? How in 
many people is it, Paul? Four. And what time would you like? About eight. Eight thirty, maybe. Let's see. Mm, we're pretty busy tomorrow. So, I can do a half past seven or nine? Um, okay, then half seven, please. What name it is? Jamie. J-A... M-I-E. Okay, so that's a table for four at a half past seven tomorrow evening. Great, thanks. Bye. Bye. Good one. Let's listen one more time. Hello, Ginas. Hi, can I book a table for tomorrow night, please? How many people is it for? Four. And what time would you like? About eight. Eight thirty, maybe. Let's see. Mm, we're pretty busy tomorrow. So, I can do a half past seven or nine? Um, okay, then half seven, please. What name it is? Jamie. J A M I E. Okay, so that's a table for four at a half past seven tomorrow evening. Great, thanks. Bye. Bye. Okay, let's listen to some of you. Maybe we can start this time with Janet. Any words that you identify, and then Brenda. Hello, tomorrow, people. About. Mm, thank you very, very much. Thank you. Let's listen to Mario and then Carly. Hello. Can I look about eight, Jamie? And bye. <laughs> mm -hmm. Good one, Carly, and then Jose. Okay. Hello, how many people? What time would you like? Half seven, Jamie, tomorrow. We are busy at night. Thank you. Yes, that's it. Jose, what about Hello. you? And then Juan. Okay. Hello for uh, today, maybe. Uh, my name is Jamie. Um, yes. Hello. <laughs> okay, Bye. very nice. Okay, very good. What about uh, Juan? Yes, teacher. Hello, Gina. Hi, looking table. About tomorrow, so seven or nine. Uh, great, thank. Bye. Okay, very nice. Okay. Thank you. Just give me a second and let's check this. So revisar. Okay, I'm so sorry. Here we have, hello, Ginos. Hi, can I book a table for tomorrow? In este caso, book no significa libro. 
Book means make a reservation. Book significa reservar. So, uh, for tomorrow night, please. And so, a very important that we said stuff this. We are pretty busy. Pretty significa bonita, but in this case, it is a quantifier. Es un quantifier. Yes, Douglas. ¿Cómo, cómo saber que, que se está refiriendo a una reservación? Ok, eh, simplemente cuando te dicen I want to, entonces cuando va el infinitivo, el to, es que te está diciendo que quiero reservar. Do you want to book a table? I want to book a flight. Quiero reservar este, un vuelo. Ahora, si tú dices I have a book, tengo Perdón. un libro. Y es Juan. Eso es como la apps de reservaciones, booking. Ajá, booking, uh -huh. that's it. Similar, okay. booking es eh, reservaciones. Entonces, cuando dices, I have a black book. Ajá, entonces aquí normalmente I have a black book, ¿ok? I have a book, tengo un libro. Pero cuando te dice, I want to book, yo quiero reservar. Ajá, entonces las mismas palabras te dan como a entender eso, ¿verdad? De que eh, no es, uh, yo, eh, si quiere, I want a book, quiero un libro. Ahí sí, ¿verdad? Pero la palabra o tú sea, es que muy book importante. Aquí es un verbo, dicho. Exactly. Book es reservar. ¿Quién hay book? I'm sorry, Marvin. Qué locura. Y dicen que el español es difícil. Y aquí literalmente <ríe> son las mismas palabras y se escriben igual. Yes. Quiero ver cómo sufren en reversa. Ellos aprendiendo español. Ah, no, les cuesta. Uh, a los gringos les cuesta pronunciar la R. Por eso dicen <ríe> carro. Yes, uh, me gustan los carros en El Salvador. Ok. Pero eso también en Costa Rica. La R. Yeah. R. <ríe> este José, R. Sí. José y su dinero falso. Ok. Ay, ya, ya, teacher. <ríe> Okay, good. Uh, what about any other paranormal experiences? Vamos a escuchar otras actividades paranormales. Cesar. And then Fernando. Okay, Cesar, what about you? You have uh, some? Uh, I don't believe paranormal experience. So I didn't pay attention for the, to them. If I heard or see something out of the... you, you think it is not real, right? Yes. And I, of the ordinary, I try to make sense of I or ignore it. it... Ignore. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, it is part of the beliefs or maybe um, paranormal activities or paranormal experiences it has some it is something that happened to any any person maybe that we know but it doesn't mean that it is witchcraft or ghosts no se no significa que sea brujería o fantasma it is like strange experiences strange and situations it, it is like that but okay so 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 very nice no well no experience about it right no problem. Okay. What about if we listen to Fernando and Flor? Okay. If we don't have Fernando, let's listen to Flor. Any experience, Flor? Yes, teacher. Okay. Let's my, listen. Ex my experience paranormal is the ones the, there was a note at the door of the house. At the meeting, and um, horse voice they spoke to you saying, Remember now, we fought or stand on, and I there was no one. No one there. No one there. Okay, but you listen some words, some, some or names, escuchaste palabras, nombres, o... Or... Era una voz fuerte y eran 10 a las 12 justamente y dijeron, acuéstense ya. Teníamos un tío que llegaba y mi primo abrió la puerta porque yo había ido a la casa de mi tía 
Y cuando abrió la puerta y no había nadie y la puerta no se vale. empezó a mover, ella solo así. Y sentimos bien feo y le dije, ¿por qué abriste la puerta? Y cerrala. Y ya cuando cerró la puerta sentíamos todos los pelos parados. It is like a, a cold breeze. Es una brisa helada, right? I guess some of you y have felt Yo salí that. a ver, fíjese, yo salí a ver y sabe que iba un gato subiéndose a la, al final del pasaje por, las, por el techo. Okay. Y el gato negro. Oh, un negro gato. Pobrecito el gato iba, andaba en celo, quizás, maybe. He no, was looking for a, de un hombre. a cat girl. <laughs> okay. But have you ever heard that some cats cry? It's like babies. Algunos llantos de, de gatos son como de niños. It is, but, but that's another, another thing. Right? Sí. <laughs> yes, it's really weird. So, es raro. Casi but, lloran. <laughs> yes, almost. Casi hablan, Dios. <laughs> yes. A Raúl llaman. Okay. So, um, let's listen to some others that we have. Julissa, Laura, any paranormal experience? No? At the moment, um, I don't have teacher. You don't have? No. no. Superwoman. Okay, perfect. Better for you. Okay, what about uh, Janet Odalis? Uh, uh, Bien se nota el nivel de gastado. Okay. Yo creo que Janet ahorita se tiene una experiencia. Sí. Paranormal. Que... Ah, sí, 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 sí. Permítame, quiero ver. Ok. Ver. <laughs> my, my paranormal experience, eh, I say that a person in white was walking down the street at around 12 at night, but uh, not to cause here footsteps. Ah, okay. A person walking, yes, mm -hmm. at night, but what about the footsteps? You listen to that. Escuchaste los pasos. No, escuché los pasos. You mm -hmm. saw it. Lo vi. Sí. Eh, vi como que era una, iba una persona, como tipo 11 de la noche. Eh, así como toda de blanco, pero no se escuchaban pasos. Okay. La llorona, maybe. Okay. Eh, y eso que yo tenía que como unos, quizás, como unos 10 años. Yes, you were a yes. kid. But those signs, the, those, those things, you never forget it. Like you always remember. Sí, uno se acuerda de eso. Okay, thank you, Janet. Viste la llorona o justo juez, maybe. Nice. <laughs> Adriana, I don't know if you're there, Adriana. Hello. Okay, any experience about it? Um, I don't have any para, para, paranormal, paranormal experience, experience, but my grandmother always recounted the experience that she, she lived. Okay. Hmm? Um, I don't like that that experience because I am a persona miedosa? Yes, a frightened. Frightened. A fright yes. And frightened I don't like person. Hear that experience. Yes. Or you can say, I'm, I'm afraid of those uh, topics I know that usually happens. And yeah. even there are uh, like some people that when they listen to these stories, they have uh, nightmares, tienen hasta pesadillas. Yes, and in my case, when my family is starting to talk about that uh, topic, I don't like. You don't like it? No. You escaped, okay. Yes. <laughs> okay, thank you, Adriana, okay. I'm so sorry, lo siento por ser culpable de tus pesadillas. I'm so sorry. Yes, for today. <laughs> Tú piensa en Felipe. Ok, uh, let's listen now to Gisela. Thank you, Adriana. What about his? Uh, I done anything experience paranormal, uh, but 
pero una he escuchado en mi familia, ¿verdad? Que okay. when my little cousin was a little, he used to say that there was a boy who played with him and at night they would sit on the bed and say that they did not want to go with the boy. Mm, okay. It was like almost an imaginary friend. Similar eh, to. Pues parecía que sí. O sea, mi, mi, mi prima llegó a pensar que era como un amigo imaginario. Pero, lo, o sea, lo que más le dio miedo es cuando se sentaba en la noche a la orilla de la cama y el niño se ponía a llorar y decía que no se quería ir con el niño. O sea, con su amiguito. Yes, yes, because that, that's frightening. Eso sí, asusta. Ajá, entonces. Es momento de regalar a tu hijo. <risa> entonces, este, mi prima ahí sí se, 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 se asustó. Se asustó. Porque el niño no, o sea, en las, siempre en las noches hacía eso, hasta que ella decidió como eh, quedarse a dormir literalmente con él, o sea, todo el mundo se quedaba a dormir con él, nadie lo dejaba solo, o sea, para jugar lo mismo. Y con el tiempo dejó de, 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 o sea, de decir eso. Y de hecho, a la fecha nadie le recuerda eso tampoco, ¿verdad? Better, better. Yes. Eh, remember, we have to monitor kids. Even mm -hmm. they have some periods of time in which they are having like different experiences. Kids are so innocent. Sometimes mm -hmm. they don't know how to differentiate the, the reality, the real life with the imaginary things, right? So good job, good for you that you were monitoring the kid. <laughs> nice. Thank you, Gisela. Okay, really nice. Uh, let's move with another general hablar de. Espantos. Okay. So what about if we have, what's the name of this song? Aquí le tocaba la canción. Flor. ¿Qué pasaste, Flor? I don't know. Yes. Okay. Si sí, ya pasó Flor. No, a no, ti. a mí me toca. A ti te toca. Gisela, you tomorrow is your turn. Okay, Gisela. Okay. Eh, Flor, let's listen what you have. Juancito ya no apareció, me creo que está meditando. Aquí estoy. Ah, ahí está Juancito. Yeah. Ya. Pensé que estaba yeah. meditando. Tipo, ahí monje. Ahí. Ahí está meditando todas las experiencias. Ah, es que este Juancito. Eso, estamos escuchando nada más. Eh, Juancito. Lo único, que, lo único que se me quedó por ahí, que César no ha tenido, dice, ninguna experiencia. Yo creo que él sí es nacido en Luzalco. Maybe César has eh, sí. some. Yes, maybe he has some deals. Tiene pactos ahí con. Si no te bueno. ves, no te aparece nada. Es como una witch. Ok. Yo creo que ella. Lo asustaron demasiado. Ok. Con los, a veces asustan más los cobradores de, de los bancos, de los préstamos, right? Yes. Ok. Eh, Flor. El... Ahorita, teacher, solo estoy queriendo compartir, pero no. Ah, puedo. no, tranqui. Ok. Eh, ¿Ya tienes abierta el, el archivo? Eh, ¿La imagen o el documento? Luego te vas eh... a Zoom. Ajá, abrilo primero. No, Okay. Abrirlo. Ajá, hay que tenerlo abierto para tenerlo como en segundo plano. Luego te okay. va. Y ahora. Ah, te vas a zoom y en la parte de abajo, en medio, aparece un botón verde que dice compartir pantalla. Ajá. Le das ahí y luego te va a salir otra ventana y ahí tienes que seleccionar el el archivo compartir. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Ahora le di el doy aceptar ya yeah. no me deja teacher ok let me check Uh 
-huh. No, pero si sí puedes compartir. Ok, eh, intenta de nuevo. Clic en compartir pantalla y luego te va a salir otra ventanita. Eliges ahí el archivo compartir y ahí se te va a quedar. Le das aceptar, eliges y aceptar o doble clic. Ok. Vamos a ver quién se me quedaba del paranormal. Douglas, creo que tampoco. Alexandra, me parece, creo, creo que iba de camino. Ok. Si quiere, pasa yo. José, vamos, José. Sí. No sé si ya les aparece. Mm, ok. Ajá, vamos José y después Flor. Vamos. Sí. Ok. Uh, don't get uh, too close. It's dark inside. It's where my demons hid. Hid. Hide. 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 Mm -hmm. Estamos de dark. Ok. <laughs> And, ok, that's part of the song, right, José? Uh, creo que banda. <laughs> okay, it's a band. Is it rock? It is uh, a depressive song, casi mm. depresiva. Como sí. balada, como pop. Oh. No Ajá, sé. Mario, ya sabes, este Mario siempre sabe. <laughs> uh, the name of the song is Demons. Sí. Song ah. by Imagine Dragons. Sí. Ah, from Imagine <laughs> Dragons, okay. Damon Targaryen. Okay, nice. Yes, I guess that's a, a very common band. I don't know it actually. I don't know it, but I have heard that people mention that name. Debería, teacher. Debería, really? debería. <laughs> okay, that's a homework for me. Mario is like a Spotify. Mario todas se las puede. Ah, Mario is looking. <laughs> Mario es peor. Mario es como Chazam. Pero Shazam superhéroe o Shazam la aplicación. No, la aplicación donde ah, busca la música, yeah, aunque uno la tararea si la, la encuentra. Ah, la like carrocola andante. <laughs> good, yes. Mario. That's nice for you. You have a good memory. Very nice. Sí, tienes que hacer con los que te deben piso también. Okay. <clears throat> Va. Ok, nice. Eh, Flor, que te me hiciste, que te nos hiciste. Bueno, Florcita. If not, we can Teacher, try... no puedo compartir. No me deja. Se lo puedo mandar al chat de WhatsApp. Si gusta. Ok. Y no en... me deja. Envíalo y ahí que nos ayude Juancito o Mario. Ok. No sé por qué no lo puedo hacer ahorita. Really. Bueno, aunque también parte de, de esta actividad es que, que todos lo hagamos, pero si no, que lo haga Ahí cualquiera de los compañeros, ok. Aquí Ahí tenemos. está ahorita. Thank you, Flor. One moment, please. Ah, va Juancito, Juancito, esos. Técnicas. Buen soporte técnico, de Juancito. Es multiuso. <ríe> no, pero Juancito ya dijo que no, es Steam, aquí, Steam Apple. Ya dijo que Steam, Steam Apple. Ajá. Steam Apple. Todavía Las no. Hace limpias. Uh -huh. También. También. Da suerte Pero para la lotería. Voy a compartir ahorita. 
Gracias. Vamos, Vamos Rorcita. Okay. You can do it. Okay. My heart starts breaking when I think of making plans to let you go. I can thinking maybe tomorrow I gonna let you know. Is this from foreigners? No. No. The police? Is a no the man. A man, it's a, a singer, it's a, a man. A singer, man. Yes. Okay. Shazam. <laughs> what does he say? Spotify. No. No, I don't know. No, es que como en Spotify tiene que escribirlo cabal, exacto, no es como YouTube. Ahí tiene uh, que... No es como YouTube, es otro terreno. Ah, YouTube. Ajá. Ok. Eh, anybody else? Pero si la canta, nos puede ayudar un montón. Ah, Florcita, ¿eh? Yo la Creo que a todos. Excelente. <ríe> como ya le va a quedar, ya casi bueno, le toca sí. a Juan, por eso ya no exige nada, Juancita, como ya le va tocando a él. No, ¿sí? mire, lo que pasa es que todo en el celo, todo en la cama. <ríe> Nadie quiere <ríe> preguntar. Entonces, ahí sí ni modo. Ok. Anyway, ok. Um, where, where is the artist from? Que nos dé pistas. Where is the artist from? United States? Uh, is, is he American? English. England. Elton John. Sí. No. Parale de la ahí florcita. Okay. What kind of music is? A, a Mick Jagger, Rolling Stones. No. Uh, I don't get it. No, Florcita no. Dina. No, ya la regamos hoy. Hoy falla, Rick falló. Asley. Yes. Rick oh. Astley. No. Okay. Ah, el del bailecito. Ya ¿Y la saben es? cuál es. I don't want My heart starts breaking go. when I think on bacon the play to ah, let you go. I keep thinking maybe tomorrow. Wow. <laughs> Nice. I don't know you do. <laughs> Okay, good. Vaya, hasta Juancito se animó. Nice, Juan. Sí. Tiene que cantar Juan en la próxima que le toque. Ah, ya, Flor. ¿Cómo que no? O sea. Bueno, si quiere, recuerdo, entonces ¿no? le presento la mía de una sola vez. Claro, ah, relax, Juancito. Ya vamos a terminar la clase. Relax, <laughs> relax. Ah, se da cuenta. Tomorrow. <laughs> Tomorrow, Juancito. Ah, Tomorrow. Okay. Tomorrow. Dos veces te va a tocar para que no, te No, si es una canción. Mañana no va a tener internet. <ríe> Mentira. <ríe> <ríe> okay, let's continue, my friends. We're going to um, work in this. Here we have some uh, exercises. It's very simple in this. We're going to change from affirmative to negative sentences. De las afirmativas a negativas. Y es tan fácil. It's so easy. Easy as ABC. An example. Y vamos a poner... He didn't play. Exactly. Humble. Number one. Mm, he didn't what, what number? Humble. One. Ah, yes, yes, yes. He didn't. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, Play. thank you, thank you. Humble. Yes. Fácil, ya no utilizamos el ed, solo el verbo en su forma base y el did. Didn't play. Ok, anybody else? Carly. Uh, number three. Ok, then Mario, ok. I didn't make the bed. Perfect, didn't make. Mm -hmm. Mario and then Jose. The number two. Number Sus two. Didn't wait in the kitchen. Perfect. Didn't wait. No, waited. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Jose, then we go with Juan. Edge. Okay. Uh, you uh, didn't, didn't, but, okay, build. but didn't build. Build a house. Okay. Thank you. Uh, Juan and Cesar. 
Uh, number five. Okay. She did not ask a lot of uh, questions. A lot of questions. Thank you. Very nice. Okay, Cesar, and then we go with Flor. The uh, number four. Number four. Uh, they didn't uh, the classroom. Mm -mm, they didn't. They clean. did. Ah, clean. They clean the classroom. They did okay. clean. Okay, Clean the, the classroom. classroom. Thank you. Floor, and then we go with Janet. Uh, number six. Number six. Uh, the friends get new computers. Mm, tiene que ser en negativa, por eso que utilizamos el didn't, Floor. Uh, they didn't. They get didn't get new computers. Computers. Thank you. Computers. Very nice. Okay, Janet, uh, what do you think? Nine or nine? Nine, okay. Will they go? Uh, aquí sería by. Mm -hmm. Christian sería aquí, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Ah, o la, la diez. Yeah. Ten. Yeah. Okay, ten. We, y vamos go. a utilizar el, el didn't, uh -huh, y luego el verbo que tú dices. Ah, we did, we did go. Shops. Go shopping. Okay, very nice. We didn't go shopping. And what about if we have this, Abel? And then um, Adriana. Christian didn't buy, buy a new guitar. Buy. Mm -hmm. Didn't buy a buy. new guitar. Thank you. Okay, mm -hmm. y en este caso, el was tiene un que es una estructura diferente porque es como el is. Ok. Entonces, eh, no sería I didn't was. ¿Verdad? Aquí. I wasn't. Yes, I wasn't. Was not or wasn't. Ok. But uh, we're going to study verb uh, B in simple past tomorrow. Mañana seguimos con el pasado de B. Y, pero ya. If you notice, uh, you already know how to use a uh, regular and regular verbs in simple past and affirmative and negative. And even questions. Y también las preguntas porque ya las hicieron. So you can have a very clear idea about how you can, how you can use uh, simple past for affirmative and negative. I'm going to check the attendance list. Please say hi, hello, uh, good evening. Y de ahí nos vamos. Okay. Um, Abel Edenilson. Present. Thank you, Alexandra Michel. Uh, Brenda Lisette. Present. Thank you, Cesar. Present, teacher. Thank you, Douglas. Present. Good night. Nice. Uh, thank you, Elia. Present. Fátima. Ok. Fernando. Ok. Flor. Present teacher. Thank you. Gisela. Present teacher. José Mauricio. Good. Present. Nice. Juan. Julissa. Perfect. Present teacher. Nice. Thank you very much. Carly and Laura. Present. Good one. Thank you. Marvin and Mirna. I'm here. Good one. Mirna, Janet, and Odalis. Present teacher. Present teacher. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. We have yeah. also Kevin, uh, Liliana, now right, uh, Mario. Present teacher. Fatima. Uh, okay, Fatima. Okay. Present teacher. Uh, Mario, good, thank you. And Adriana. Present. Okay, my friends. Ahora le toca a Gisela. Parece que ahora te toca también eh, la sesión. Right. Ah, okay, teacher. Okay, thank you. The rest. Eh, okay, Danny. Okay, Carly. 
Ok, my friends. See you tomorrow. Ten cuidado con los espíritus chocarreros. Bye bye. 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 Bye bye. Bye bye. Okay, here we have. Eh, Gitela, are you working? Estás en el trabajo. No. No. <laughs> Me quedo con la camisa en trabajo. <laughs> yes, I can see. Wow, Gitela, maybe she's working. Okay, Gitela, eh, podemos hacer cualquiera de las dos cosas. Una, o te hago una entrevista breve en inglés, o revisamos algún tema que a ti te parezca como confuso, mmm, que te cuesta un poquito, si hay algún o vocabulario, o conversación o algo que te consi que consideres que está un poquito confuso, complicado. Es que lo que me no mucho entendí fue lo de un cuadrito donde están los los que era con el comparativo eh, no recuerdo pero usted nos mostró la presentación un cuadrito Sí, sí, lo, lo de los adjetivos, ¿te refieres tú? Ajá, exacto, eso. Ok, déjame ver acá. Quiero que lo tengo por acá. Ahorita veo. Uh -huh. Sí, aquí está. Ok, eh, sí, estos son adjetivos y lo utilizamos para describir, comparar o para eh, sobre eh, que alguna característica sobresalga. Por ejemplo... En el primero tenemos que es angry. ¿Hay alguien en tu familia que se ha enojado? Sí. Va Gisela. Vamos a ver a Gisela. No creo Gisela, pero vamos a decir que sí. Gisela is angry. Estamos utilizando el primero, el active. Aquí solo estoy describiendo. Ah, Gisela is angry, but she's a good worker. Uh, she's a good person and so on y estamos describiendo ahora si queremos compararte sería Gisela is angrier pero el, ver, el verbo cambia ¿verdad? el o adjetivo el, el adjetivo okay. cambia porque ya no es angry con Y sino que es angrier okay. que significa más enojada Gisela is angrier than algún compañero o compañera de trabajo eh, Guadalupe Guadalupe Lupita pongámoslo ok <ríe> así le so, digo ok Gisela is angrier than Lupita imagine Lupita is angry but you are more como que Lupita es enojada pero tú eres más bien okay. y ahora ponemos Gisela is the angriest in the company digamos que Aquí estamos diciendo que tú eres la más enojona o gruñona en toda la compañía, en toda la empresa. Okay. Ese es el diferente uso que se le puede dar a los adjetivos. ¿okay? Eh, adjetivo normal, descriptivo, comparativo y superlativo. Ahora vamos a utilizar otro. Como estos son adjetivos cortos, solo agregamos angrier. Pero digamos que vamos a utilizar famous. Vamos a utilizar famous. Ok. Eh, Gisela. Luis. Fame. Ahí estamos diciendo que tú eras famosa. Nada más. Ahora vamos a comparar. Gisela is more than siempre con Lupita. Entonces estamos diciendo que tú eres más famosa que Lupita. Eres más famosa ya sea porque sos enojado o porque sos alegre o por lo que sea, pero sos más que Lupita. Y la otra sería en la última estamos diciendo que tú eres la más famosa de la compañía ahora aquí viene un, una cuestión aquí utilizamos angriest pero aquí utilizamos the most okay. pero por qué pero por qué ah porque acá este es un verbo es un adjetivo corto en cambio famous famous ya tiene como tres sílabas. En cambio, uh -huh. que este es angry, es como big, big, bigger, biggest. Como te acuerdas de las hamburguesas, biggest. Ajá, entonces, uh -huh. es biggest. Pero cuando los adjetivos, si te das cuenta acá, eh, son más largos, entonces eh, ya, no, ya se le agrega more, 
porque conservan su forma. Su forma no, base, no. pero se Ajá. le agregan las otras palabras. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Ajá, entonces ese es el uso principal. Describir, comparar, uh -huh. establecer que eso tiene una característica sobre otras personas o sobre un lugar. Okay. ¿Qué dijiste la hoy sí más o menos más claro? Sí. sí. Ok, entonces lo que tenés que fijarte es que si el adjetivo es corto o es largo. Okay. Uh -huh. Esa es la clave del éxito y ahí puedes ver cómo se van. Por ejemplo, mira fat, father, uh -huh. ¿verdad? Pero si podés modern, ya utilizamos more modern. Uh -huh. ¿verdad? Y es escuchar. ¿Cuántas sílabas? Ajá, ¿qué tan Ajá. largo? Y mira, uno poco a poco se, se lo va aprendiendo. Uh -huh. Pero tenés que utilizar los más fáciles que consideres y poco a poco y así va, vas a ir avanzando. ¿Ok, Gisela? Eh, ¿De ahí lo de los verbos irregulares? Con uh -huh. mm, pues los verbos irregulares. Vaya. Uh, déjame ver. Vaya. Los verbos regulares son un poquito más prácticos porque solo les agregamos. Eh, de... Hola, chica. Hola, colochita. Vaya. En este caso, eh, tenemos eh, que hay ¿qué? 101 verbos irregulares. Entonces, en este caso, eh, en la columna verde es en presente y la columna anaranjada, creo que por esto aquí, es en pasado, ahora. En este caso. Aquí tenemos, por ejemplo, mira, bet no cambia. Uh -huh. Ya viste. Esos son bien chivos. Tampoco la 42. Hit no cambia. Sí. Pero hay muchos que sí. Por ejemplo, la 15. Tenemos com, came. Uh -huh. ¿Verdad? Y aquí está la 16 y 17. Son chivos porque no cambian, mira. Porque son irregulares y no cambian. Pero la 20, do, did. Entonces, ellos, algunos de esos conservan la primera letra, uh -huh. las primeras dos letras. Pero de, de esos no hay como una regla, o sea, es de aprendérselos así tal cual. Fíjate que, fíjate que hay algunos patrones que se repiten. Te voy a uh -huh. poner unos ejemplos, pero son contados. Uh -huh. No siempre se da eso. Por ejemplo... Uh, este, mira. En el caso de estos, eh, tenemos, mira. Sink, sank. Uh -huh. Y aquí tenemos sit, sat. Uh -huh. Esos están, están algo fáciles porque, mira, incluso el, el 13. Sink, uh -huh. sank. Mira. Estos sí uh -huh. tienen un patrón. Uh -huh. Pero este que dice shine, aquí dice. Como lleva ahí, aquí debería decir Sean, ¿verdad? Pero no, dice Sean, ¿verdad? Entonces, es eso. Hay algunos verbos también que tienen doble E que cambia. Y termina siendo solo una E. Sí, esos son algunos eh, ejemplos, pero no son... Quiero ver si está así... Aquí está, mira, la 26. Okay. Lleva doble E. Okay. Fin, y este es Fed, okay. ¿verdad? Pero como te digo, son contados. Eh, no es muy fiable o no es muy... Mira, aquí está 45. Keep. Keep. Uh -huh. es, es como una, un patrón, más que ser una regla, es un patrón que se repite, pero no se podría aplicar en casi todas, todas, ¿verdad? Pero, pero sí tenemos por, también... La 27 que es feel y la otra fail. Pero de esos son contadísimos. Okay. De ahí los demás hay que memorizarlos, Gisela. Pero yo creo que con esta lista ya puedes tener una noción que sí te sabe varios verbos. Okay. <risa> Así que ánimo. Siento que sí, tiene buena pronunciación. Animate más a participar, ¿oíste? Lo estás okay. haciendo bien. Creo que a veces eh, siempre me da como eh, pena de pronunciarlo, la verdad. Siento que es más. <risas> no importa. Dale. Yo no te voy a. Así. No, si te das cuenta. Yo no los, no, no los detengo. Sino que los dejo. Que hablen. Que hablen. 
Y después yo hago una retroalimentación de, de esas palabras, porque lo importante es la confianza, Gisela. Cuando tengas confianza, no importa si te equivoques, si vos tenés la confianza, sí, ahí te vas. Ok, okay Gisela. Así okay. que eso sería, se nos fue el tiempo, mira bien rápido. Sí, Así que, me quedó muy claro. Chévere, ah, este, no te olvides de, los, de las homeworks, de las tareas de la plataforma, ya casi vamos a la mitad del curso, ¿ok? Así que ánimo. Ok, thank you. Cuídate, goodbye. Bye. Feliz noche. Feliz noche. Adiós. 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 Adiós.